Well, hello everybody and welcome to Angel Meadows. Um, for those of you who are in the chat, please refresh. Not that you can actually hear me. There you go. <laughs> uh, please refresh and you will get uh, sound. Uh, I'm going to babble on for a couple of extra minutes while you guys refresh and let me know when you hear my my lovely voice. Um, in the meantime, I am going to have a little, little, uh, you know how I like to share, right? Um, okay. Um, once you're done here, uh, if you, if you have nothing to do and you really, really, you know, go on over to Paramania Radio, my good friend Vicky and her cohort, I mean her cohort, co-host, <laughs> uh, Brock Burroughs, um, have a question of the day for their show. Why are mediums so effed up? Uh, do you think that mediums get sick m- more compared to to people who are not mediums and stuff like that? And I'm waiting. Jenny's typing. Maybe she'll tell me. I can't hear you. This is something to say. What are you babbling on about now, darling? Um, after that is my guest from a few weeks back, uh, Fox City Paranormal, uh, with Brendan Shea. That is Tim Miley's show. Um, which is, hey, Carrie, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, And then after uh, Fox City Paranormal with Tim Miley from 9 to 10, it's Paratime with Brock and Doc. Everything paranormal and then some. Uh, A a great place to be if you have nothing else to do. Um, Thank goodness for Jenny. (laughs) I'm going to have to copy and paste that part in. Um, uh, uh, I have to get a link to all the... um, Yippee, I have sound. Way cool. I have to get a link to all the other shows that are on Intua Talks and uh, boost them as well because I love this platform. Um, I a big, 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 giant fat thank you to Jenny Satori for creating Intua Talks. And anybody who is listening to this, if you want a show, if you want a a uh, website, come on over to IntuaTalks.com. Website or, or websites? Try this one again. Websites are free with a little bit of uh, advertisement, but uh, the prices are, you can't beat the prices, okay? There's other places where you have, you know, uh, $40 a month, (laughs) $40 a month, and it's just a radio show. Here you get a radio show and a website, and you get the ever-adorable Jenny Satori who will help you out as much as she can and hopefully you don't muck up things as badly as I do <laughs> and practically delete my whole website. No, I'm not that bad. All right, so enough of the chitter chatter. My guest today is Eliza Einhorn. She is okay, okay. She is an author of the little book of Saturn. I, silly woman that I am, did not get the book before. But you know how I work, even if I had the book, I would not have um I probably wouldn't be having, you know, keep on a one-track mind because you know how my mind works. It's kind of like cat all over the place. So I'm going to unmute my adorable Eliza, who has this passion. Hey, Eliza, she has this passion. Hey, Mama D. <laughs> she she says I'm going to hypnotize her. So if she's if you start hearing snoring, it's because I'm <laughs> Asleep. It's true. It is a risk. I might I might fall asleep because your voice is so. Real. I've told you that from. The first time I heard your voice. I know. And, it was, and I said, funny because I listened to my own voice and I go, mm-mm, I don't see how anybody can listen to that. But if we hear cat purring, she's got a cat too, so it may not be her snoring. <laughs> It'll be me. Okay. It'll be me. There you go. Um, Elisa, would you tell everybody just a little bit about yourself? Okay. Let's see. Oh, man. Where to start, Mama D? <laughs> start. You are originally from New York. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I'm i not actually from there, but I did live there for a long time. Okay. Mm, that's actually a good place to start because that was where I became an astrologer. So I guess I am from there in a way. Like it's the beginning of, of that part of my life. Yeah, exactly. I started taking this class, this astrology class, and it I got completely obsessed it took over my life. It changed my life. And I never thought that I would wind up doing it for a living. But that's exactly what happened. And that did happen in New York. 
Okay, so you do astrology, but you also do tarot. So which mm-hmm. came first? It sounds like the chicken or the egg. Which came first, the astrology or the tarot? <laughs> The chicken, you know, astrology came first, Astro- although okay. I learned both from the same teacher, but I'm, I'm more self-taught with tarot. Okay. I learned all my foundations in a class with astrology, and then he was offering this other class, and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. Mm-hmm. And it, I just added it in, and I, I love doing both together in readings. So, what, so when you ask me to talk a little bit about myself, I'm an astrologer. I'm a tarot reader. I am a medium, which now I want to listen to that show that you were just talking about, about mediums getting sick. Okay. The show on paramania that's uh, coming yeah. up. That, I bet that's going to be good. They, really they, they start at 8 o'clock, so you'll catch the last half hour. You'll hang up with me, and then you'll go over there. <laughs> uh, I'll listen to the replay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it's... Uh... But the, the two Sorry. complement each other well astrology and tarot well what made what was what was what was it that first made you put them together aside from the fact that you were learning them from the same person and the same place what was it that sort of made you say these two belong together because i know a lot of different people have it separately they're you know they're i have i have no idea i maybe i don't have those sort of divisions in my head in okay. general, about my spiritual life, because my my life is not separate. Meaning, I don't have a spiritual life that's separate from my work. That's separate. You know how people compartmentalize? Yeah. Like maybe they're a, yeah. A ca- like I'm a cashier by during day. the day. Yeah, I'm a yeah. cashier during the day, and Mama D. As soon as I step out, actually, I'm always Mama D. But you know, You're I don't bring my Mama cashier D to, to me. here. <laughs> well, I just can't bring my cashier to visit here. Some of the skills may overlap, but like at least now it wasn't always this way. But right now in in my life, it's it's integrated, and I think naturally I don't create those divisions somehow. Like for example, I'm Jewish, born Jewish, raised Jewish, but all over my house I have icons of Mary. And someone might think, well, that's really weird, or someone might think, well, that's sacrilegious to one person or another, or someone might think, like, you're crazy, what's your problem? But I don't, I don't have those divisions. Like, I can, I can be that. So that's true. It's no, but that's Do good you, because you know, so many people make that separation. But like, like I said, some people would yeah, be I like, okay, well, this, you know, but that's good because it I leaves like, you open you like, to everything else. Do you like chocolate and peanut butter together? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> so it's, kind of, it's like that. Like there might be someone on this planet who just, they can't deal with that. But okay. it seems natural to you and me, right? Like, of course. Mm-hmm. Try chocolate, and, uh, peanut butter, and caramel. Mm. It's but, you know, I don't, rem- I don't remember a moment. Sorry, I interrupted you. I, I don't no, remember cool. a moment where I, I just started adding it in. For people, okay. you know, I liked it. I like, like, I was doing astrology readings, and back in the day when I first started, I didn't want to talk on the phone. <laughs> I only <laughs> did readings by email. I would do these really, really long email readings. They took forever, and mm-hmm. I would write. It was like writing letters because it wasn't in real time. It wasn't like on messenger. It was emails back and forth. Yeah, and I would just start adding in tarot cards for free. Like, oh, let me answer that question with you know, with the deck, and it just, it got more and more, and I, and I, and I got just as obsessed. So there, there are two languages I speak maybe equally. I mean, if you ask me how I am, I can answer in a tarot card maybe better than saying fine. Like, oh, I'm having a nine of pentacles day. That's how I'm doing. Or a five oh, of swords yeah. day. Sounds like fun. Do you know I don't, um, I, I, I don't, when I look at a tarot card, I still see it as an oracle card. But I understand, you know, like people are different and, and they see things differently. It's like, it's like, it's, it, it doesn't, it makes us different, but it makes us the same. It we, is an oracle. We're just, it, we're just, we're open enough to listen to the different ways of, of, hold on a second. Onyx is, is, has been on, on camera before. <laughs> when I had the camera show, and he's now and he's now jumping up, going, "I want to be on camera," but he's not on camera Aww. today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so when did every head? Um, 
bunch of questions were answered even before I could ask them. There you go. I love the way things flow. Did you, um, did you say there's questions already? No, for me, from me, I write sort of oh, like give me. myself bullet points. And I was like, okay. Oh, oh, oh. You know, and and uh, I'm, and they I'm were, ready. Whatever you want to ask. There you go. Okay, the book. Let's go there. Why? Okay, the little book of Saturn. Why Saturn? Like I know there's a whole well, bunch of other planets out there, but why Saturn? You know, I I I, I chose it. The the woman who wound up being my editor, who's an editor at Wiser, the the publisher. Okay. She it it was like they. From what I understand, they were looking for someone to write this book. Like they were looking for someone to to write one possibly more friendly, <laughs> friendly um, entry level beginner kind of books about the planets, astrology. Books. Okay. Okay. And when when she contacted me, she said, "Okay, here's the thing. This is this is what we're thinking. Pick a planet. Write a book proposal." You know, because we're going to say yes or no if we, if we uh-huh. like it, if we don't. But pick a planet. And I picked Saturn. You know, I was given sort of the general, this is what we're looking for. And then, so I felt like I had, you know, I don't, I'm trying to remember what, now I remember what drove me to that crazy decision. I think it was because I was under such a difficult Saturn moment. And I felt like mm-hmm. I had something to say about Saturn. Like I could cleanly, clearly explain or, you know, say Saturn is this. This is what I think Saturn is. And I also had a Saturn theory. So I felt, oh, I want to try to share my Saturn (laughs) theory with the world. But I was also under, you know, transits are where the planets are now and how they're affecting us. And at the time, I was either under or heading into some very difficult Saturn transits. So it makes sense in retrospect. Maybe I thought, oh, I'm going to be in Saturn land, I might as well write about it too, so that I can't escape, and I'm just living Saturn 24/7, which is kind of how it was. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. <laughs> okay. Does it's that just make a quick sense, show that Mama Everybody, in, it does. It does. I'm confused, but that's okay. I'm always uh, confused when I talk to, what part, to astrology. What, uh, what part confuses I, you? I want to. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand astrology. I know that the, that the the planets and the stars and, and everything has there's a reason for everything and I and to understand it for me it's just it is. I don't need it to Well be, you know Go ahead. I was just gonna say it's actually with the right teacher to just mm-hmm. explain basics, it's really very it's actually simple and I think people make it complicated or they make it sound complicated. Or if you're anywhere on social media, and I know I'm guilty of this too, you'll read some posts that's speaking in astrologies rather than in English, (laughs) you know? Uh I know. And I'm consciously trying not, I'm consciously trying to to not do that as much. But you learn the foundation from someone who can speak it clearly to you, and you would get it in an afternoon. Okay. So you're gonna have you know, to people, sit down, and, and you give. I'm it to gonna me come up there. Basics. I'm coming. I'm gonna come to you. I'm coming to Canada. Oh my God! You're gonna have snow in the winter for sure. <laughs> uh, so, I need to get I'm new boots back. then. Oh heck yeah! All right. Boots I've never park. been oh, there. Yeah. I'm gonna it's come eat donuts great. at the at the market <laughs> there. <gasps> That's I'll in the store where I live with you. Oh my God! That's right. That'd be um, That'd be funny. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if I didn't tell you and I just showed up? Yeah, because see, I know was, who you are. I see your face, you know, when I when when yeah. I talk to you, and I was like, this is this is the face, this is Eliza, and this is you know, the, right. and and the moment you walk into my store, I'll be like, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> There's, she's I think crazy. there'll be other words really that'll follow. It. I think there'll be a lot of <laughs> other words that'll follow along with that. But oh god, yeah, that'd be funny. And then we would do your astrology lesson in between. In know, between your, customers, your work. <laughs> Yeah, to teach them too. Yes. yes. Oh my God, we'd have to do it in French. <laughs> that would be that, funny. My French is really bad. I had a year of college okay. French, and I got C's. I was really bad at it. <laughs> you, you once you work in it, it it you learn the words that you need to learn for for the work. Okay. Like I mean, I can't do readings in French. 
I have I hmm. had uh, I have a great guy who who's a medium. He used to work at the donut shop, and now he works uh, works for my company. But he's he's a medium and a psychic, and he yeah. does he does all kinds of big things, but they're always in French. And my French is not good enough to have a conversation on a show with him, but I be tripping really? over my tongue. Yeah. And his I thought you were completely. I'm bilingual. bilingual to the effect of what I need to know. I don't. Oh. Uh, my spirit work is always is always in English. It's always been in English, so that's I don't. Interesting. You know, so maybe I think that's maybe very spirit interesting. to speak to me in French. I mean, I make my job. Print me out the stuff in English. <laughs> so I so can, I could you know, get possessed in French and just start speaking in French. There you go. In my know. in my bad college French. <laughs> The point is the point is to try. People, <laughs> whether they speak English or French here, the point for me is if people just try it, then it's fine. Right. If if you if you like, I have customers will come in and and they'll speak French, and I can tell by their accent that they they actually speak English, but they're trying to speak French, and and I help them out, and I say you know you can speak in English if you want, uh, but if you want to speak in French, right. I'll help you along. And you and don't laugh like, behind their back. Oh God, no. <laughs> oh God, no, 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 no! Because that's that. As as a child, you know, I was I was raised in an English family, went to English schools. I remember uh, French people laughing at me because you know Aww. because of my accent, because of I didn't have the 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 verbs right. I still don't have the the male and female right. A table is either just a table. It doesn't mean whether it's a boy table or a girl table. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Jenny in the chat room says she only could say French fries. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, Freedom well, fries. There you go. <laughs> but uh, so no, it's so you know I was I had that experience as a child growing up to be laughed at because my French was like right. as I call it nails on the chalkboard. Uh, that I don't do that to people, you know. It's like, I, know, I you know, was just teasing you. I didn't. I didn't. Wouldn't. Th- I wouldn't think you would. No. Not in a it's, million uh, years. No, I do laugh. I I did have a, a friend who. Um, she was trying to speak English, and for the life of me, I couldn't. I couldn't help but not giggle. She was trying to say pennies in English, but with mm-hmm. the French accent, it didn't come out as pennies. It came out as oh, a word. Oh, I know. I'm a radio station. So I'll be putting a lot of money in my cost jar, <laughs> and I'll have to put. Well, it this is language. <laughs> Are we not allowed to say that word? Because I was planning on saying it in the next five minutes. <laughs> And, uh, no, I won't say it. I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a guest. All my on plans show. dashed. I had a guest on the show one time, uh, not this show, another show that I did, and um, she she was thought, saying a word, and it came out masturbate, and <laughs> she, she said it three another times. Another good word. Yeah, another good word. She said it three times so that when and we were giggling because, but the show got complaints. And I was like, really seriously? I was my show was on at nine o'clock at night. Any child who's listening to this should be in bed. And then I forgot, you know, <laughs> people listen to it in the archives. Like, okay, fine. We swore I'd never say that word again live on air, and I just did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jenny's laughing in the chat room. Uh, anybody in the chat room who has a question for Elisa, please type it in capitals if possible, because this old lady doesn't have her glasses on. See. I can't. I can do that. And I need. And, I need new glasses. Oh, wait a minute! You asked me about the book. I don't even. I don't even think we talked about it. Did we? We did a little bit. Oh, we did. Asked, oh, we went into that long story about I, how, how did, did you pick Saturn? Saturn. Yeah. So, but I I remember reading. Um, what was it? I I took notes. Okay, I remember reading Ooh. somewhere. This it's this copy and paste type of notes. It's a friendly introduction. A book of for curious readers who know there is more to astrology than just their sun signs. Saturn has traditionally been considered the planet of challenges, but the life lessons that this stern planet brings are necessary for personal growth. I it's think, all true. All true. Every word. I, think I don't even know if is, I wrote that or they did. I think what? everything what? is necessary for personal growth, but I thought when I saw that, I was like, hmm. But it says it's simple and easy. So I am going to get the book. I am going to read the book, and then we will have you back on. We will speak specifically about the book. Anybody who has questions about the book, I will be 
reading it intensely <laughs> as soon but as you I know what? I like I like this better I like I like I was saying that to you before I like the idea that you haven't read it and we can talk about other things I like that too even when I read books I have I've had people on a show who have sent me their books and I've read the books and my I I could sit down and have a con- to me this is a conversation with friends my show is about a conversation yeah. with friends we go this when is you why we're down, talking about the M word and the P word because <laughs> that's what you talk about with your friends that's what I talk about with my friends <laughs> any other words any other initials <laughs> everybody's going to be going Mm-mm, there goes Mama D again she's she's corrupting the poor innocent Eliza somehow I don't think so it's, com- it's oh, completely true wait 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 that is completely true because I'm a cancer and you're a Scorpio and Scorpio will always corrupt a cancer always 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 and forever it's true Mama D Really? Let me see. Who else do I can know? Oh, I know a few cancers. <laughs> I'll have to find out if it works. <laughs> have you corrupted them all yet? Not yet. I'm but not no. yet. <laughs> I still Can- have time. Cancers <laughs> tease. We do tease with love. Okay. And, I, and I'll take, gladly accept that I don't take anything. <laughs> well, I do take certain things seriously, but generally, no. I have a good Well, you know I you. love you. I know. You you yeah. fall you fell in love with my voice so how can I hey look I feel like Brian C is in my Brian C is in my chat room Brian is from Australia so he's just waking up good morning Brian where's my coffee <laughs> how come I don't see him I don't see him in the chat room oh yeah. Jenny says she's very corrupted by dark well it's it's <laughs> it's hard not to be because the voice gets you and you start thinking impure thoughts it just kind of <laughs> Now, now. <laughs> so Brian, he just said good day. Brian C., he's a little, little teeny tiny Brian C. Uh, he used to be a co-host with me on uh, this this same, not this show, but I had another show at the same station, same place. Yeah. And he's 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 lucky that I've changed over to because I, I used to when I when I stopped doing that show, um, I even then I used to kick him out of the chat room. Just because it was fun, because I could. But now, if I do that, <laughs> he's banned for for <laughs> he's banned for oh, twenty four no. hours. So I have to be a good girl and not kick his butt to the curb. <laughs> but if he gets on my nerves, I just message his wife on Facebook and and she'll she'll throw something at him. <laughs> Better than nothing. There you go, <laughs> Jenny. Oh my gosh, Brian says Jenny, you're pure. Do not plot, Mama's. Pl- do not play Mama's game. Yeah, Jenny's Jenny's an angel. <coughs> okay, <laughs> that's why she hides behind the great Wizard of Oz. Um, <laughs> the Wizard of Oz curtain. Oh gosh. Um, okay. Why I would when I was doing research, I did a little bit, yeah. not much, on uh, <laughs> astrology. Yeah. Because one thing leads to another. It always starts with Aries. When they say sun signs, when I just Googled in, what are the sun signs? And it says, always starts with Aries. So why is Aries yeah. the first sun sign? Since it's Spring. not the first month of the year. Because for me, January is the first month of the year, so I believe January is Capricorn. And if that's you know Aries, that, beginning of I probably, you know, my his, that's, that's actually a, a technical question, but it's, that I might not know the answer to. But that's spring. Spring is Aries. Yeah, Aries is always the first sign, and it starts with Aries. And you know what? The Jewish New Year actually begins with Aries, with spring, even though we celebrate it in the fall. It's actually Mm -hmm. springtime. But if you – the answer to that, I'd have to Google that. There you go. See, I've given you why. (laughs) Yeah, like why, why that is. That that's a matter for Wikipedia, I think. They no, go. I, I think know. they they probably have a reasoning behind it, you know. But they probably yeah, back in the day. Say, back in the day. But if you I mean, say now, here's system. my here's my take on it. You said Aries is in the spring, so yeah. for me, I love the spring. It's okay, the I'm equinox. Spring it's the spring equinox. It's for me. It's the beginning of all. It's the birth of everything. Spring, everything grows, everything blooms, everything blossoms. So that's the beginning of it. To me, that's where it should start is in the spring. So maybe that's why. That's why they went with the spring. So, yeah, and to each, 
the sign that's associated with, with each of the equinoxes is called a cardinal sign and okay. thought of to be as very dynamic and forward moving and exciting. And those are the seasons, right? I mean, spring, fall, spring is Aries and fall is Libra. And what am I forgetting? Okay. Winter is Capricorn and then summer is Cancer. So those, those four are with the seasons okay. and are the equinoxes. Jenny has, and I'm not. I'm not saying they're better. I'm not saying they're better than the other signs, but you know, I have an equinox, and someone else doesn't. Um, Jenny in the chat room wrote. uh, I'm guessing copied and pasted. Hey, Eric. Um, Aries, March 21st to April 20th is considered the first sign of the zodiac. Spring. Uh, This was when spring starts. Ergo, that's exactly what I said. Spring. Spring. <laughs> also, in ancient Roman times, March was the first month of the year. Ha ha! Oh, okay. It changed January by Julius Caesar. Had to be a boy. Um, <laughs> coincidentally, Aries is ruled by the planet Mars in astrology, and Mars is a Roman god of war, where the month of March got its name. The Greeks, the Greeks, the Greeks, the god of war is Aries. Courtesy of Google. There we go. Darling. <laughs> And Eric is in the chat room. Hello, Eric. How you doing? Why, good morning. It's almost good night. Well, yeah. Eric is over in the UK, so he's five hours ahead of us. So he's like, um, it's almost midnight. Wow. (laughs) We have people from everywhere. And correct me if I'm wrong, but Carrie Whispers, who's in the chat room, is from South Africa. Carrie, you'll have to let me know if I'm right on that one. Um, so yeah, we have a, we have a wide range of people. Okay. So tell me which, for you, which is Mm -hmm. the most difficult sign of Ah. the, of the, and it's not Scorpion, the most (laughs) hard-headed. Oh, you mean the most difficult to work with or the most difficult, like you mean when I do readings, the most difficult or the most difficult. Period. The most, like, period. What everybody says is, like, you know, like, for me, Taurus, okay, that's a bull that's hard-headed, whether it's male yeah, or female. Yeah, they're very stubborn. And it's, and it's your opposite sign, so the two of you are going to clash. They, 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 you can either complement each other or you're going to fight. And what you need oh. to do is find balance with Taurus. But they, I think they're going to piss you off. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're stubborn and you're stubborn. Scorpio's stubborn, too. Me? Stubborn? You're Mama known. D. You, yeah. Yes, Mama D. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're, you're no, they're known for it. Scorpions and the Torians. I don't know if I should say. I think I should be diplomatic. I don't think I should. I mean, I'll tell you one thing that I notice with working okay. with clients is that there's certain chart configurations, like something that's more, it's more than where the sun is. It's actually, you got to really look at the chart. And you see certain, I don't know what to call it, I guess configuration could be a good word. But the way the chart is arranged, I can Im- immediately see, okay, this person is going to be easy to talk to. This person is going to be a pain to talk to or just say no, no matter what I say, because you get clients like that. And mm-hmm. They ask you they ask you for help and then they just say no, 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 no matter what. Like they test you. Okay. That's, that's where the difficulty is, even more than the sun, because the sun sign, because I might, let's say I might get along with Taurus better than you just because of my own particular chart, you know? Okay. So, although I love generalizations, I really do. I'm almost hesitant to generalize of one that's the most difficult. Because you know someone's going to feel bad and someone's going to come in the chat room and say, but yeah, I Yeah, but may... it's, it's okay. It's your opinion. Because the next, the next astrologer may you know? think that Scorpions so I guess are... I, a, I, yeah, no, I guess I don't... It's for me. It's it's looking deeper into the chart, and then and then I see the conversations going on between the planets, and that's what will create a difficult person. Okay. You know, so it's not going to be just Sun in Scorpio, Sun in Cancer, Sun in Pisces. It's going to okay. be more complicated than that for sure, mm-hmm. but easily seen once you know how to read a chart. And I'm going to come to Canada and teach you, so you'll be doing that. 
Eric in the <laughs> chat room says that he's a Gemini and both of him are awesome. Yes, Eric. See? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of Gemini in my life, which is interesting. They're interesting. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They they are very special people, especially when they have a spirit guide that that they can hear and see and talk to and are very interesting spirit guides. Um, Eric says he is a mega pain of Olympic proportions. Eric, really? I just want to talk to a cat about that. That's his wife. <laughs> But, uh, okay. Um, all right. So, the easiest, the gentlest of mm. signs. Gentlest. Let's say easiest because not no, easy and gentle is not always the same thing. So, the gentlest of signs for you. For me. Wow. The one that you would yeah. work with day in and day out because they're just that, it's just that. Chill. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Mama D. I'm mm-hmm. self-employed. I can't work with anybody. <laughs> I can't have. Cl- I can have clients. I can't, but I can't. I can't work. You know what I'm saying? I can't have a the normal jobs that I used to have that I was always really bad at. I can't do those. Yeah. But in terms of like a client, I always like to work with. Pi- I like all the water signs a lot. Yeah. But I don't think there's any particular sign that's difficult to me. There's just difficult people. But I, I have a lot of Sagittarius clients. I love to work with them. I love Pisces. I like Scorpio because it's usually pretty deep with them. Okay. Easiest. I'm here. Me or... <laughs> I just hear myself an echo a little, or I did for a moment. Okay. I, you know what? The Pisces. If I had to pick one, it would probably be Pisces. That's the easiest to work with. Pisces or Sag. <gasps> Mama D. Yes. I thought of who the most difficult is to work with. It just came okay. to me. Okay. Virgo. Virgo. Really? Because they, I, and I, I have a lot of Virgo in my chart, and I love Virgos, but they, they will question everything you say, and they will, they will doubt. If, you could tell them their social security number. You know, you could tell them their address. You could tell them facts about their life, and they will go, really? Are you sure? <laughs> Either in their tone or they'll, they'll actually say it. Because they want okay, you to okay. prove everything to them. Hmm. So that, my eldest. Sun I, is a Virgo. And I say that with love because I have a Virgo moon and a Virgo ascendant and a whole lot of Virgo going on. But th- but they can be the most skeptical, and y- you have to win them over with the mind. <laughs> you can't win them over with the heart. It has to make sense to them. Yeah. The Jenny in the chat room, says, she says, I knew it. She says, trust me, I won't question reading, but I have, but I am not a typical Virgo. So I'm guessing Jenny is a Virgo. <laughs> but my son is a Virgo. My eldest son is a Virgo. And yes, he does do that. He does question everything. He didn't question stuff. I, well, when he was a child growing up, it was like, why? Why? Well, I mean, all kids exactly. do that. Exactly. That's, that's the Virgo with the why and the how. The why and the yeah. how. How, why, how, why. Constantly. Yeah, exactly. But uh, when it came to the, the spiritual aspect of what I do and who I am, he was like, okay. And and I had to prove to him, like he was he was okay with it, but yeah, you have to prove um, it. but uh, you know he he mucked up a, a shoulder muscle, a back muscle when he was doing because he did weight training, and I said okay come you know I said I will give you re- uh, Reiki, I will do Reiki on you come and and he I said he says but you know because he knows I charge for it, mom I can't pay for you, I said it's very simple you have to stay for dinner that's your payment. You know, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Okay, fine." And I did, uh, I did four treatments on him, and um, when they were done, I said, "Okay, you're done." He says, "My," he says, "I have to tell you something." I said, "What?" He says, "I had a problem with my shoulder, which I didn't tell you about, but now it's, you know, it's not, it's not a problem anymore." I said, "See?" Right. So, see, he did, he did sort of uh, test me without testing me. You know, like he didn't want to say it. You know, so, yeah, yeah. 
they don't makes, they don't trust uh, they're not gonna uh, they're not gonna trust you right away yeah he's he, he you've got to kind of sort of prove it to him but without mm-hmm. being you know but yeah i see what that is well, uh, but you know and, and my my favorite healers are, are virgos so i i mean no disrespect to virgos but i'm thinking of a recent virgo that i did a reading for and i, I think they're going to be you, they're skeptical they're going to be skeptical Mm-hmm. Even though they hired you, <laughs> they hired you and they want your help and they're, it don't come easy with Virgos. And that's why we <laughs> love them, right? That's why we love yes. Them. Yes, I do love, uh, my, my three children are, are all different and my, my, my daughter is a Sagittarian like her father and my eldest son is a Virgo and I always thought my youngest was a Virgo but he's, he's the one right after Virgo. Is it Capricorn? No, not Capricorn. Libra. Libra? Okay, he's a Libra. He's yeah, the 26. that's the fall equinox. He's the 26th. And, and Jenny says that she's, she doesn't get offended. She's not offended. She doesn't get offended. And she gets a lot of flack for being a Virgo. But you know what? Virgo is always right. Flag. That's the thing. Is They're always right. That's, uh-huh. what, that's why people. That's why people don't like Virgo is because Virgo is ninety eight percent of the time right, and they know it, and then they lord it over you. <laughs> so that Uh-oh. so others so you know power struggle ensues. Okay, okay. So my mom was a Virgo. I have to think, was she? She was. She wasn't. Yeah. When mom said what she said, when you know, like you do it the way mom says, otherwise she'll just. You know, forget it. I'll do it myself. It's simpler than watching oh, you. Oh, that's do it, you know. That's so Virgo. That they they rather do it all <laughs> themselves than have you make a mistake and then they have to do it over. They they'll yep. they take on they take on everyone's work to get it done right and quickly. <laughs> Jenny Jenny tries not to behave that way. I'll keep an eye on that, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're 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 they are they're other signs that are workaholics, but they, they will definitely overwork. Whether it's the sun sign, whether it's the sun in Virgo, or whether just a very Virgo-y chart, other planets in Virgo can really can really make someone not know how to sit down, or relax, yeah. or flow. Yeah. Jenny Jenny's like that. She she works like, as I said, Jenny created into a talk. Right. This her baby. And and, and I they're perfectionists. Mhm. This is about the third time she's at least the third time that I know of that she's she's made uh changes to the, to the platform. And I love this. I I was great on camera, but you know like with the summer I melt, so I'm like glad glad not to be on camera anymore. Yeah. And besides for me it's just the voice, but she, and I told her no more no more work on the two talks. You have to go on vacation. And I said, I said to her, I said, when you come back, I want, you know, look into this for me. And she fixed it. And she goes, it only took two minutes. Like, I told you not. <laughs> but she said, it only took two minutes. I'm sure it took longer than two minutes. But um, she she but will I, keep fixing it until she get, gets it perfect. But because there is no perfect, you know, in this mm-hmm. life, then she will go back to work the next hour and the next hour and the next hour. She probably yeah. works all night. This woman works in her dreams. Jenny works in her dreams. I'm certain of it. <laughs> but they are, they're my favorite healers. They're wonderful empaths and diagnosticians and healers. They're really, you know, if you're, if you're looking for a healer, I would say nine times out of ten you can trust a Virgo okay. to get the job done and to make you to make you better. Not that I know every Virgo healer in the world, obviously, but but the ones that you've connected with is, is oh yeah, uh, yeah. And, yeah, and <laughs> and Eric, Mister Funny Man in the chat room says, "Damn, I must be a Virgo because I used to be <laughs> conceited. Now I'm just perfect. And if I'm wrong, you obviously misunderstood what I said." <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. Eric is, is just a funny man. <laughs> that's how I feel. If someone thinks that, I'm wrong, that, they that's just misunderstood it. There you go. <laughs> yes, Jenny, you do help. You you go out of your way to help. I mean, I have to admit, I have, you know, with with trying to 
Jenny helped me set up my site, my website. Actually, Jenny set up the website. And I go in there and she goes, okay, now, Mama D, you can do, you can do it. You can, I trust you. I know you can handle this. And a couple of times, and it's funny because when I make a mistake, even yeah. just typing to her that I made, you know, that I, I did something wrong, my head is down and I just type the, the message on Facebook and, or whatever I type it. And it's like, um, I did something wrong. Can you fix it? And I'll, close the window and I'll walk away from my desk, from my keyboard. <laughs> so I know she doesn't answer right away because, you know, people do have lives, you know, and um, right. she'll get back to me, but I will have my head down and, and but she'll come in and she'll go, uh-huh, now see you did something and I fixed it. You know, I'll be like, okay, <laughs> I won't do it again. Whatever I did, I won't do it again. <laughs> so I'm very, you know, but uh, yeah, Jenny is, is she's a, she helps, she helps people way so much and people don't even Aww. realize half the stuff that she does but I do I'm and sure. I thank her every chance that I get and everybody who is on into talks should thank her because without her we wouldn't have this you wouldn't have me here getting on your nerves yeah. <laughs> every and that would me. that would be terrible if you wouldn't if you wouldn't be if, if you wouldn't be here if you weren't here things would not be as good as they are I mean we we need that voice we need that that honey the honey voice of Mama D. <laughs> I don't know about honey, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Nails on the chalk floor when I want to be. Probably. Like I said, I'm I'm very I'm very easy to get along with. Um, I I listen to everybody. I don't block people out. I think I've been in my Facebook life. I've only actually deleted and blocked two people, and 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 and. And I just like when people send me friend requests and their their profiles a little bit, eh, you know, I'll just I'll just ignore, <laughs> I'll just ignore or delete. I won't block them, but you know, I block the, the first the first one I got was was this guy in a military uniform, and he's like, oh, I need to talk to you. I think you're so beautiful. I'm an, I'm an American soldier and da, da da da. And I looked at the picture and I sent back a comment. I said, um, did it? Say duh on my picture. He's like, oh my goodness, no, why? I said because you were you're telling me you're an American soldier and you're wearing the Canadian uniform. So let's let's get that right. You There's know? a lot so of I, fake it's, profiles it's a nice out there. Yeah, I know. It's funny when you get three different guys with three different names and and, and they're all, all the in the military picture. for some reason. <laughs> they're all in the military and they're all widowers. There you go, divorcees. I think they think that's going to be appealing somehow. <laughs> Oh, they it must work somewhere, some way. I just you know. I know, mm. right? Not special. <laughs> See, what did I say? This conversation, our ship, my show, goes from one end yeah. of the world to the other. And I go yeah. there with you. It's fun. <laughs> okay. It is. Um, one of your um, okay, we're gonna go back to the book again. We're gonna like I said, I I've got two masses going, and which one is which? I saw a name. And yeah. I'd heard the name before, and you when you sent me your 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 bio, and you said you could right. take that off, and it's a name that I heard before. And Rachel Rachel Pollack, Pollack? yeah, yeah, she's she's a tarot master, tarot writer, legendary tarot person. <laughs> okay, for for year for decades for decades, you know, tarot has become very popular in the last couple of years and she's one of these people who has been around for for decades mm-hmm. really making it what it is writing incredible books and um when it became and and I've I've taught her stuff you know online in my classes we always talk about well Rachel Pollack thinks this and Rachel Pollack thinks that and in her book this is what she thinks about this card and you know on and on okay so she's so she's so brilliant so we, when you have a, a book come out, one thing you have to do is make a wish list of of your heroes. You know who who okay. who would you like to endorse the book? You know, write a little blurb on the back. So you have like your crazy wish list. You know, like Oprah. Everybody puts Oprah because everybody <laughs> wants Oprah. But that's not going to happen for a lot of people, right? So then right. you all then you have a more realistic list. And she was the first person I thought of because she's such a hero of mine, even though it's an astrology book. But I thought, I just, I respect her so much that if she, you know, put her name on it, 
that I could die happy. Yeah. Yeah, that was just, it was such a big deal to me. It was such an honor. So, really, really. So really how did you? How did you? Did she get a copy of your book, read it, and and? Yeah. Well, did you, that did you part send I don't it? do. No, the, the oh, publisher okay. does that part. The oh, okay. There's the middleman. The publisher probably I, I I don't know who exactly did it. Whether it was my okay. probably my editor who reached out. I'm not entirely sure. And I and I heard actually that at first she didn't want to because she wondered, well. Who will care because this isn't a tarot book, you know, like why mm-hmm. does it really matter for me to to, to blurb an, an astrology book? But um, luckily she was convinced that her opinion matters no matter what the topic is. Yeah. So and now opinion matters to, to the writer. There you go. Oh, yeah. And to anyone okay, so. who knows anything about tarot. I mean, seriously, this is this is fact. This is objective. This isn't just like Eliza saying, oh, this woman is legendary. This is like, okay. you know, this is like Mama D has an amazing voice. This is objective. <laughs> this is fact. This is like Mama D is an awesome Scorpio. This is a fact. So that, it's in that category of factness, you know. <laughs> I'm glad you get my humor because some people don't. <laughs> but you laugh, you laugh at, at my jokes and that makes me happy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Okay. Yahoo. Um, <laughs> but I, I find it I find it strange that you that I mean I guess it's not strange. Like people be like you know I I will I will like when I want somebody for the show, you know the person has to come into my vision, into my either news Facebook news feed or something, at least three times. I've always had that thing for the number three. Oh, three times. Hmm. Yeah. And and Rachel Pollock, it's been the second time I've seen her name, so that's why I have to ask you about her. But a lot of times people be like, you know, like, oh my God, you asked so and so, yeah, yeah, exactly. I I you know I saw I I don't know how many times I've seen you in my news feed, and it was like, it's cute, it's cute, you know. I like the way you put things, and it's simple it's and cute. adorable, and it it just sort of works. And I was like, okay, I followed you for a little while. And I, as I say, I Facebook stalked your butt. <laughs> oh. And I like um, that. I like being Facebook stalked <laughs> by you. It's cool. Cause I do it. Um, everybody out there, if I Facebook stalk people, you know, if you want to be my friend, and, be be prepared. I Facebook stalk you. <laughs> and we we had a couple mutual friends at the time because it, it never came to be. But I almost had a show on Paramania. But my life was it was too much was going on at that time. I think I almost had a show on there twice, but it just it just didn't get off the ground. So I think yeah. we had a couple mutual friends, including Will, <laughs> whose name I don't remember. Will is a hilarious, Bang. a hilarious young yeah. Pisces gentleman. Yes, 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 that's true. I know him as Bang. He used to come into the chat room, and his name was Bang. He'd go be he'd be like Bang oh. in the house. He just oh. had a baby girl a, a, a while back. That's and right. to the That's point a where I sent him. him, yeah, to the point where I sent him. I had a guest on my show. I sent him a copy of a book, or my my guest uh, sent him a book, copy of a book about uh, babies, and uh, it was a written for babies. And he was like in such Aww. heaven. But, yeah, he was so cute. he's such a doll. I haven't seen him in a while. I guess he's busy on the boat again. But, That's right, uh, busy on the boat. Uh, that's fun. Um, so, okay. So, yeah. So when, when I could say it, I will reach out to somebody and I used to be like, yes, Eric, I stalk people's butts. <laughs> um, I like it. I like it, it being stalked by a Scorpio. That's high praise. Thank you. Compliment. Yes, but okay. Um, but I will ask people because like, I used to be afraid to ask people. I used to be like, well, why would they, you know, why would they listen to me? Why would they, you know? And then I just sort of, you know, got more sure of myself, not over ego thing, but just I knew what I wanted. I knew what I liked. And I was like, you know what? If I don't ask Lisa, she doesn't have the opportunity to say, no, woman, leave me alone. <laughs> but unfortunately for you, you said yes. <laughs> and little did you know. That, that you eventually would say yes, and, and we we yeah. finally work it out. So finally, yeah. it's like a year later, I think. 
I think so, yeah. But it's okay. It's been a while. Everything, everything, everything has its timing, you know. Things. Because now things, the book is out. Now the book is out. There we go. So that's better timing than before a book is out. Mm-hmm. One second, I just did something. Oh, there, I almost <laughs> lost the screen for half a second. I moved my mouse. It was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> This is this is a very professional show here. Mama D loses the screen. Ah! <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Okay. So we know that your your tarot uh, goddess, for lack of a better word, mm-hmm. is is yeah. Miss Pollock. Who is your astrologer? The one that oh. you, you your go to astrologer. I don't think I have one. Or you? I mean, I have I have favorite books, but I think. I think that maybe all those authors are dead. I mean, I could recommend those books for sure. <laughs> but if you, but if there's, you, okay, aside from there's, Google search, if you had to go, if you had to go to your, your library and pick a book. Yeah. And whether the person's alive or dead, who would be the, the name that you would go for? Um, Donna Cunningham comes to mind. Okay. Who is also a cancer. Tracy Marks who I believe is alive. I'm sorry, that like, sounds so horrible to say. I think she's alive. Um, I think she's alive. Ha- I'll figure it out. Howard Sosportos is a big favorite of mine. He is no longer with us. He was amazing. Oh, there's, you know, Jan Spiller. She died a few years ago, but she has this wonderful book on the nodes. I can't remember the name of it. But there's this funny little thing in the chart. There's a north node and the south node, and everything they represent, she writes about in her book. But her book is actually a great way to learn basic astrology or to learn about sun signs. So if anyone wants to learn astrology, they should absolutely get that Jan Spiller book. And, of course, the name I can't remember, but she doesn't have that many. Maybe it's – I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. You said Jan Spiller? Jan, J A N S P I L L E R. Maybe it's maybe it's astrology for the soul. It's a big book, and it's it's very good to get a grasp of the signs. Although mm-hmm. it's, the book is not marketed that way, but I believe that's essentially what it is. Astrology for the soul by Jan. Spiller. Yeah, that's a really good book. And of course, you know my book. And well, Linda that's, Goodman. That's on the top of the list. That's on the top of Well, yeah. So Lindsay yeah, Goodman is super famous from the 80s. I think, I don't know if she wrote in the 70s or the 80s, but she's really good on sun signs and on everyone's favorite topic, love. Do I love, love. myself, so that, that's what counts. I love, yeah. I love me. So long as I can love me, I can love other people. Yes. When I'm cranky with myself and, and I <laughs> behave, mis- misbehaved, Eric. Uh, all right. Night, Eric. Night, Daddy. Time for Eric to go already. be. Well, for us, it's only 730. Remember him? It's midnight. It's 1230. Midnight. Because he's in the UK. So he, and I'm he, a morning he, person, so this is late for me, actually. Ah. Uh, you stayed up late I'm, to play with Mama D. Yeah, I'm drinking coffee. I'm drinking coffee to be with you. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm having know. water. Thank you very much. Okay. Um. All right. So I now I I'm going to do I'm going to do the official part of the show here, because uh, it's almost at the top of the break. Uh, which okay. I don't have. I'm going to, we're going to try the music. We're going to take a wee break. Hopefully mm-hmm. later. Fingers crossed, everything works out. But for those people who listen, <laughs> those of you who listen in the archives, whoops, let's see if I can get this. All right, Elisa's name is spelled A L I Z A. It's pronounced Elisa, not Eliza. I learned that. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Copy. And I'm going to put a bunch of links into the chat room. And they Yay. are your. Facebook, which is a Moon Pluto one word astrology, Moon Pluto astrology, and that's pretty much everything. Your face, your Facebook page is Moon Pluto astrology. Your website yeah. is Moon Pluto astrology dot com. Twitter is Moon Pluto New York NYC, 
your Gmail, your email address. If people want to email you. It is moonpluto at gmail dot com. Wow, uh, you got it all there. Uh-huh. Your book is uh, also at the Red Wheel Wiser. There's a link in the chat room, or on Amazon dot com. Just yes. type in, just type in Eliza Einhorn, and the book is called The Little Book of Saturn, and it will rock your socks. Because I got to read parts of it, because because Amazon lets you um, listen to a few things. Oh, mm, um, cool! And then, um, so I was like, hmm, let me listen to this. So we're going to try. We're going to try and take a break, people. I'm going to try and see if the music will work, and if it doesn't, well, and oh, I should get something. I have permission to play. <laughs> oh. Otherwise. Well, yeah, because because I don't have I don't pay for the license. Let's let's see if we can do. Hey, let's try this. I don't know if this is gonna work. All right, I'm gonna mute myself because otherwise you'll hear it echoes. And people in the chat room, if you can't hear what's playing, just sort of let me know. Otherwise, we're gonna have dead air for a few minutes. <laughs> Eliza, you and I, we will go on. Whoops, if I can go back to it, I we will go on mute and. We'll be right back in two shakes of a lamb's tail, people. (laughs) Are you looking for a place to meet like-minded people? Are you a metaphysical practitioner, psychic, medium, or healer, or all of the above? We've got a place for you in tuitalks.com. Join for free, listen to spiritual radio shows, get a free website, watch and participate in classes, and so much more. Join the old spirituals all on the One Roof Network, www.intutalk.com.
and welcome back. That was from the rooms, spelled R-V-M-E-S. They're a group based out of uh, New Zealand, uh, an awesome bunch of guys. I had uh, the lead singer's mom on my show, and she asked if I had permission to play his music, and he said, oh, heck yeah. I think his mom asked, so I <laughs> was lucky. She, can we really say no to our moms? Uh, my guest t- this evening is, Aliza Einhorn, she is the author of The Little Book of Saturn. A uh, quick shout out to everybody in my chat room. Um, Brian C., thank you for being awake at this ungodly order of the morning. Uh, in Australia, Carrie from South Africa, Jenny Satori, who's just here to make sure I don't muck up her sight. <laughs> no, she's she's behaving myself. And uh, Larry, from also from Facebook, thank you, everybody. And Eric Glynn, who, um, who's left. And, of course, Aliza, who's in my chat room. But she had no choice because she's my guest. <laughs> and I'll unmute her now. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Well, I think I did. There we go. How you go? Hi, yeah. Mama D. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that song was very nice. It was the only one that they had uh, recorded that wasn't live that I could use, so I was, like, very pleased that they allowed me to use it. And, yes, I'm I'm a good girl. I was, I, it wasn't, wasn't the idea of patience. It just, it just took, I mucked up last week because I didn't go to the right spot, but this week I did good. See? See, Elise is a good influence on me. Aw, I'm so glad. Yeah, no, I, yeah, uh, Brian, uh, there are still, is, there is still the platform that they can do with video, but for me, I got to, um, I chose to do just radio because, like I said, when I melt in the winter, I don't need everybody seeing me when I melt, and the only one time that I was doing the show that I wasn't on camera, people were messaging me going, are you okay? Are you sure? Yeah. I was like, yes, I'm fine. I just, I, uh, so I turned on the camera and I was like, okay, I look like death warmed over, but mm, to myself anyway. I, I wouldn't want to be on camera either. I'm very camera shy. I like this way better anyway. Well, I left, it was an option. My guest had the option to be on camera or to not be on camera. There was no, it was no hard and fast rules. But you wouldn't I, force us. You wouldn't put us in Mama D jail me, if we didn't go on camera. Me? Force people to come on camera? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm good at that. I, I have my I have my ways about me and make people feel bad because oh come on just get this this face on there. Mm-hmm. So I just you know when when Jenny um, said that she was trying this out and and she showed it to me, I loved it. You know because anybody can put um, a picture in into the chat room. All you gotta do is down on the bottom. Oh, really? It's a little paper clip so you can upload something. You know if you get really. Rude, Disrespectful. Like naked uh, pictures and stuff. If you want to put naked pictures in there, Lisa? I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure the boys I didn't say they were of, I, I didn't say they were of me. I put naked okay. pictures of someone else. <laughs> don't, don't it naked pictures. I don't, I I don't have any naked. Please. I don't have any. I don't want to see myself naked. Never mind. <laughs> put pictures up of it. But, oh, somebody put a picture in the chat room. Oh, look. Jenny they, put a picture. Where? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Is that where she lives? That's where I live. <laughs> In our minds, maybe. Um, I like that place. It looks pretty good. But see, it's it, it's great because, like, example, if you were drawing cards for people, right, I can still, if I, because, like, I have a lot of cards that are scanned into my computer. I can yeah. uh, put the picture up. Like One of my guests a couple of weeks back had, it wasn't on this platform, it was another, she was drawing cards. And I luckily I had the same deck, so I would be able to put them up into the chat room so that people get because I think it's important that people get to see the cards as well. You mm, know. I agree. Oh look! I put a I put a picture. <laughs> look at that face! Oh my goodness! It's, that is, that is not my child. An old student of mine sent me that, and I I had no idea that she was going to do that, but she she got oh, the book God, and she what a face. sent me these. So I, I joke that even the young they want to learn about Saturn. But it's even the I very look at young. That face. Like those are those are wide eyes that are that are going to be. I know. Oh, oh, and you know what? He's a Scorpio. This little boy is a is a Scorpio as well. Uh-huh. I keep track of them all, Mama D. I know where they all are. Ah, <laughs> uh, 
Well, uh, my friend Larry in the chat room has been <clears throat> blessed with twin scorpions. Oh, my. Boy and a girl. And, and they're born on my birthday. Yeah. Hmm. So when, when we first met. When is met your birthday? With, what? No, November what 20th. November okay. 20th. Uh, so when we first met, he was like, oh, my God. I got and, and I said, sit down. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're in for. <laughs> So as as a scorpion female, I was like, I'm honest. Uh, we're we're special. We're a special breed, <laughs> you know. As for boys, I don't know how he's going to deal with that. But hey, um, I'm I'm an expert on scorpion females, you know. But uh, so yeah, so he's got scorpion twins. Yeah, when uh, when they were teenagers, they were fun, <laughs> but they are adorable children. So. A triple set. Oh heck yes! <laughs> but I love that little face. So there's there's a picture of of the the best advertisement you can get is that little face. <laughs> right. Your book is. I know. Right? Yay! So cute. Isn't he a sweetie? She's and not in nice the chat room. The mother. I'll have to tell her. What? Well, the the picture doesn't. In uh, this is the thing. In in the archives, the only thing that gets recorded is our voices. And the on the old platform they it recorded the pictures, the chat and everything. So but uh so his picture won't go out on the airwaves unless of course you post it on your Facebook page. But, I have already. Nope. It's been all yeah. it's been all around the world already. <laughs> but of course. Uh, that's the thing. That's the only that's the only drawback is is people but people can download, they just I believe click on the picture and then figure out how to download it. You know, there you go. You save image. Click on the picture. It opens it up into a bigger picture, and put save right. image as. And so, if people are doing, like I said, if people are doing readings, uh, whether it's a tarot card or an oracle card, if the picture is put into the chat room, and somebody wants to save their picture, they can because I have it open, so that they can save. But I can also, if I have people who are who have created their own decks, which in the future I'm hoping to to get somebody, an old friend. Uh, she's created her own decks, but she she doesn't want them out there just yet. I think I'm not sure because one time she did my show and we we didn't record it because when it's recorded, everybody gets to see the deck and she didn't want it out for public. Anybody mm-hmm. who came to the show got to see got readings from the deck and got to see the decks, but it wasn't recorded for posterity's sake because she still wasn't. They weren't being published yet, and right. and the, the publishers sometimes don't like when you show off and, and the things are out there before they can actually get their hands on it and make their corrections or whatnot so what have you. So but it's like I said, it's it's fun. People can put pictures up and, and put files up and you can change your and and I think the best thing about this here is here, Brian, yeah. this this one's for you. There you go. I can make faces with little emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I couldn't do that one. When I had the, the the video platform, you couldn't. You just sort of did the the, the colon with the P, and that oh. <laughs> it didn't have the same energy as this one does. There you go, Brian, sticking my tongue out at you. But mm-hmm. uh, so I love I love this platform. I have, uh, but everybody gets to choose whichever one they want. Once you, you get to it, then you stick with it. So if you don't want to have your face on camera, you know, then you don't then you don't do the the video platform. I personally like this one, but you know. I'm special. And yes, I know people can be say the bus licking type window type person. Yes, that's moi. Uh, okay, let's get back on to it. All right. Is you <laughs> see look Brian I go painted. I go where Mama D, I go where you go. Wherever you flow, I flow with you. We're going crazy, darling. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. You do you you are you are a medium? Yeah. You are a astrologer. <laughs> you are a, a a tarot reader. You are a, an author. Is there anything that you don't do that you want to do besides coming up here to Quebec and visiting me? <laughs> wow, that's a really great great question. I is there anything I don't do that I want? To do? You mean besides make more money? Um, yeah, <laughs> I want to get I want to get better at all those things. I want to off the top of my head, I can't think of any one particular thing like oh, I want to master the pendulum or I want to learn how to read tea leaves. I 
No, I can't. I can't think of anything. You know what I want to do? You know what I want to do? I just I want to keep writing more books. I want to keep writing books, and I want to keep helping people and and get better and better at helping them. I think that that's going to be you know. Put the squirrel one up, uh, Larry. Um, I, I think that's without a doubt is that's what you do. You know, because like I said, I, I Facebook stalk you. I get to watch what you do. Um, it's getting so, deeper. It's getting deeper. Yeah. You know, Brian, Brian wants to know if you want to learn telepathy because he does that. Uh, Telepathic. Just don't swear at him, uh, even in your head. You know, I don't know, I don't make the same kind of distinction. I think if you're very psychic, very intuitive in a reading, that's part of what you're doing. I mean, you are seeing the reality of events, but Mm -hmm. you're also reading minds. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I'd like to get, I'd like to get better. But I think, but I think that's, 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 see, that's, that's something that I, not a lot of people see the distinction there. I think um, uh, I'll let you figure it out. Um, you know that you know what you do. What what you do, you know you're good at. You know you're great at. I right? believe that. Yes. But I believe that. Yes. Not everyone's cup of tea, however. Not everyone's <laughs> cup of tea, but yes. The person okay. who wants my tea, yes. Well, I, I like your tea. But you also know that you want to get better so that you know that, like a lot of, I, I have actually heard somebody say, I know everything. I don't need anything else. I don't need to learn anything else. I was like, really? I'm, I'm, no, there's know. tons. I mean, there's stuff that I'm fascinated by, but I don't know if no, I'm no, no, going I mean, you know, to incorporate what they, that about, into a reading. Yeah, I think but about they know what everything. they do now. Exactly. There's oh. people who are, we'll say, we'll just use tarot reader, okay? She's a tarot reader. You're, Jenny. Sorry, um, Elise is a tarot reader, and she says that she had. There's nothing else for her to learn. She has. She knows everything. It's like that's not possible. You know, to me, if you know everything, I'm sorry, but you're no longer on this earth. Yeah, you know, for, yeah, for whatever sure. The case, I don't whatever know everything. People, but people, some people think that they know everything. You, you know what, Mama D is. I I, I want to refine. I always. I'm looking to. We can always refine what we do, but I, I like to go deeper rather than oh, more information. I don't need mm-hmm. more information. I don't need, oh, here's another thing you can add in. Mm-hmm. I like the more depth, the better. And especially, I mean, I love seeing people's past lives. I love mediumship. I, I think I will get better at those just just by doing it just by experience, you know, more clients, more conversations, more trust in what I see. And then I was going to say something else and I forgot what it was. It totally left my head. <laughs> well, Larry what was it? Put, Larry just put a picture in the chat room. Uh, Maybe he's that's why. Maybe the picture overwhelmed me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there and it is. He, the squirrel. He's also a photographer and he took this picture. And he, oh. I, I can see him chasing... He said, I was chasing a squirrel around the park, and I, and I just went behind a tree, and it poked its nose out. And I said, mm-hmm, it's looking for his nut that's been following him and stalking him. So <laughs> Now I remember what I was going to say. Go ahead. You know, we have a lot of squirrels around here. And there there was a New Yorker friend who was visiting who said that our squirrels were very scrawny. He thought there was something wrong with the Florida squirrels. I don't, I don't, I don't know why that is. Anyway, because the heat just melts the fat away, and they're on, you know, <laughs> the that, could, that could be, <laughs> that could be high metabolism. There you go. Whereas we have like we have some skinny squirrels, but we have some fat squirrels. So, but for but sure, I, think, I don't know everything. I'm well no. aware of that. I'm but well it's it's that. nice that you're like it's it. Like, it's nice that you're willing to say, you know, like, um, this. I want to learn. I want, like you said, I want to go deeper. It's you don't, you know that there's more to things. It's oh, not course. you. You haven't reached your plateau and say, okay, well, I know everything about tarot or tarot, and I'm going to go on to, like you said, tea leaves. No, you know I'm not a, I'm not a dabbler. Tarot. Yeah, you I'm know that there's more I'm not, to what you want to do. Yeah, I'm not at a buffet and I need an egg roll and then I need a, you know, some pepper steak and then I need a little bit of this and a little bit of that. 
that's not how it works for me. Although, you know, you did reflecting on this question because your questions do make me reflect, Mama D. I'm giving you homework. But, <laughs> but there, there have been times when I had more tree of life, when I had more Kabbalah in my work than I do now. So if there was something that I was going to sit down and study and say, okay, I'm going to return to this. I'm going to incorporate this in my readings. I'm going to help people with this. That's what it would be. I would go back to Jewish mysticism and really go as far as I can in that. That's probably the one thing, which I've I've been with before, so it's not brand new. It's just not mm-hmm. really in what I do right now. But there was a it's, time it's, on Facebook. Yeah. It's still in it's still in your toolbox. It's not something that you've given it it's just you haven't opened up that, that level of that layer yeah, of the two it's just toolbox. Sitting there. Yeah. yeah it's, when it's, it's time it's, come back. It'll be like, Hello, remember me, let's do it. You know? Yeah. It's, and it, it's funny you say that because um I I used to do um birth angels. Mm. Um and and it was three birth angels. I don't remember now, but I was revising my my uh, my website and I was like, "Oh my god, I haven't done that in a while." And 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 I I can't even remember right now off the top of my head what I needed, but the angels that I found mm-hmm. had uh they, there was a connection to to the Jewish faith. And I was like, "Oh, mm. Thing. So it was to me. It was like, oh, that's a nice one, you know, because I, I don't, I was, I was raised Catholic, and right. I, I question, I'm a questioner when it comes to like, ha, huh? the, you know, like when I understood where babies came from, I was like, really? And Mary did this all by herself, you know? It's, it's, well, that's, it's the mystery, you know, I, isn't it? It's a mystery, exactly. So I have questions. So and when people, you know, people go, well. You know, there's 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 Buddha, there's Allah, there's God, there's you know. I was like, uh, yeah, and yeah, well, you know, it's like, but they're all to me, they're all the same being. We just give them different names to to suit whatever purpose, whatever following we follow, whatever religion we follow. We just because it's all just the universe. It's just one, you know. Like some people believe we can, we're, we're all alien seed. Hello. Okay. Know, if this right? was what an alien. If this is what an alien looks like. Damn, we aliens are looking good. <laughs> Jenny said she did a DNA test, and I, she was part something Jewish. Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. So she so she has some Eastern European Jewish blood. That's what that is. Ashkenazi is Eastern Europe. Okay. I'm curious. I think I should do that just to have a heck of it. I, I want to do it too. I was just looking the other day. I've never done it. I'm going to do it. Jenny, what was the test that you did? What was the the name? Like the, the I know there's different brands out, different companies out that do it. Like when my um, when my mother's brother passed away, and then my mother passed away. Uh, our family did. Uh, my uncle did. Um, had the our family tree. She did it on 23 and Me. So That's something. the one I was looking at. I was just because I want to. I want to find relatives. That'd be cool if we were family. Yeah, <laughs> but we might um, be. I and Jenny, my, the three of us. There you go. The three sisters. Hot diggity. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna troublemakers that we are. Oh, sorry, did I say that? Um, my in yes, my family tree, way back, way back, way back, my ancestor married the 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 daughter of a an Indian chief. That sounds like a a, a bad joke, but you know <laughs> and and I can trace it back. I have to you know, like it's traced back. This is a family tree. And and right. the thing was in, in a past life reading somebody said that um that I was raised by Native Americans. I was I wasn't Native American, but I was raised by right. them. And I was like, mm. Okay, that kinda of, sorta of makes sense because I have that there, there are certain things about the Native American culture that attracts me that, you know, just sort of has a pull. And, uh, hold on, camera almost, <laughs> computer almost went to sleep. Um, so that was, you know, that's something that, you know, if we're going to do it by, you know, by, by DNA testing. That, that's an interesting thought. should have that. Jenny, I'm going to get it done. Aliza, get it done. And then we'll have a I'm show on. And then we're going to have a show. <laughs> there you okay, go. That sounds fun. That'd be fun. Yeah, I'm very mean? curious. She found she found she has seven half brothers and sisters. 
hot oh my god that's in, that's intense i have enough with one one brother and one sister i wouldn't know what to do with seven of them half or otherwise still i've adopted a lot of children <laughs> i call them my heart children like i know but uh yes see you're one of my heart Thank children Thank and 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 like i said when i go on facebook and i say you know my facebook family it's my heart family we don't have to be related by blood, you know. I'm related because you just found your way. <laughs> ah, okay, Jenny was adopted. Okay. So that's what made you do the... the. I'm not going to ask you a bunch of questions now because we're going to do a show on this. <laughs> I'm going to figure out, find out how to get this 23 and Me done. And we're going to get it done and we're going to have a show on it. It's going to be fun. Um we might actually have to do it on Jenny's show. Mm. Jenny decides to have a show again. <laughs> um, never too much information. Okay, it's, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, when, when I, it's funny when I make friends on Facebook. You, you're not just. It's not just. As a good friend would say, it's not a fart. In, it's not a fart in a windstorm. I, <laughs> uh, if I make you a friend, you. have Managed to squirrel away into my heart, whether you know whether it's a big part of my heart or a small part of my heart, it doesn't make a difference. You're still in there, and it right. it takes a whole heck of a lot to get your butt out of there. Even that one person, the two persons that I blocked on Facebook, they're still there. I still you know, I still love them. I still feel you know, still have a a, a connection to them. I I just I I feel sad for them. I don't pity them. I feel sad for them that it was their choice. Because it was their choice to do the stupid shit oh. that they did to make me, you know, drop kick them to the curb. Awesome. I still see them in real life, but I won't allow them. I won't allow them into my my Facebook life because right. it, it's it gets stupid at times. But you know, that's that's what life boundaries. is all about. It's, it's good kind of to have like, standards, standards and boundaries for how people treat I have, you. I have very low standards. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> See, I allow Brian into my chat room. I have very low standards. No. Well, you know, once once we look at your chart, Mama D, we'll see about your standards and your boundaries because we can see that kind of stuff. Mm. I'm serious. I am going to. I'm gonna have to get a hold of my daughter, and she's gonna go to the the hospital where I was born because they don't. They want me to mail them a check. I don't do checks. <laughs> I'll e transfer you the money. We don't do that. Okay, then I'll have to have somebody go down and pay you. And and get my my uh, my time of birth, because right. I want this to be a full and complete whole shebang thing. So we can know everything. Good Lord, know everything, and we're gonna do a we'll do a, <laughs> a, a we'll do a scary show on it. Want to know a everything there is about It could be the Halloween show. Can be the scary. Halloween show. Okay, what year is what day is Halloween? If it's on a Sunday this year, I will. So kill myself laughing. August, September, <laughs> October. No, Halloween is on a Tuesday. No, it's on a Wednesday. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe no. Which is, I'll be too busy giggling and laughing at the little trick or treater. <laughs> so, never know. We could do what we can do. But yes, love them from a distance. Yes, not everybody has to be in your life all the time. So it's it's cool that. Uh, but yeah, twenty three and me. I wrote it down. You can't see it, but I did. You know me, I always have pen and paper. <laughs> That's the one I'm going to do, too. Okay. So we'll we'll look into it. We'll get, and since Jenny started this all, she's got to, it's got to be on her show. We'll do it on your show, Jenny. You have to have a show. <laughs> I don't know when, but we'll do it. <laughs> oh, gosh. But, um, okay. So we've gone from... Um, <laughs> talking about awesome book to 23 and Me and what we're going to do. You know what? We're doing an advertisement for 23 and Me. Maybe they would send me I know, the kids. Right? <laughs> they could be your sponsor now. Oh, that sh- that show they definitely would be my sponsor. Be like, Mama D. No, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> we don't know, Brian. We have to get the test before Jenny will book a show. And she said yes. See everybody see it? She, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the chat. <laughs> I'm gonna sh- ch- save the chat. Ooh, the pressure, the pressure. <laughs> it's not pressure. 
it's gentle, loving, shoving you over the edge to say yes. <laughs> well, I heard you were supposed to be doing more shows anyway, so, you know. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yes, Jenny, Jenny also has, uh, moi? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Beautiful, intelligent, uh, be, uh, talented, creative, and hot. That's <laughs> Spelled the proper way, not your way. <laughs> that's when people call me a bitch. That's what I am. Beautiful, intelligent, talented, <laughs> creative, and hot. So I accept it. Yes, I am. So I always used to tell my boys, if anybody ever calls you a son of a bleep, I should just say yes, and my mother's very proud of it. And they were like, Mom! And then I explained it to them. And they, oh, okay. <laughs> but they were grown up by then, so still said it when they were kids. Not an insult. Nobody, nobody take you. You don't give your power away to anybody by allowing them to upset you by calling somebody a name. Went to that as a kid. Don't know why, but they called me Fuzzball, <laughs> Fuzzy. But no. But uh, yeah. Okay. So let's get back on track, Darlene. All right. So deeper into um, the tarot, the tarot. Is there a difference with the way it's sounding? No, I know you weren't. But I love you anyway, Jenny. Is there? I've I've noticed that some people get very particular about the way it's said. Is it? Oh, tar- okay. I don't care. How, I don't care how people say it. And some people say tarot. Is it? It's basically it's the same thing. It's just a matter of a grammatical accents and where you put your accent on. I Does think so. it? Is so for you? It doesn't make a difference. No, I mean I'm. If I'm going to, I I definitely have my moments when I split hairs, but that's not one of them. It's not one of those moments. Mm-hmm. How to pronounce that word. The thing Either with the way. call, there you go. So long as it works, so long as they under, so long as you mm-hmm. understand each other, and that's what counts. Mm-hmm. Now, you, hold on a second. I had, oops, where did my notes go? <laughs> As I said, you know me, I just kind of get a little note crazy and, and I'm done. I'm Can here, you take John. a picture of those notes? Can we see them in the chat room? No. <laughs> so there's, there's handwritten ones and then there's the ones that are on the on the, the laptop, desktop, the one that's on both of them. They both have okay. uh, Where did it go? And I have it. It's there. All right. Um, when you, she's laughing. Jenny's laughing at the fact that you want me to take a picture of my notes. No, <laughs> I would love it. I would love it. I want to see your 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 desk, your table, your your workspace. I cleaned it up two weeks ago, and now it's a mess again. <laughs> I'm not. I am not one of the neater okay people. I have to keep myself on yeah. on task about keeping things. Yeah, okay. we want to see her process. Exactly. Jenny's right. Process. Seeing the mom and the pro- it's process is it's interesting oh. and it's different for everyone. Well, I, I just rearranged because, like I said, I have two laptops New going. remote viewing. Brian wants, <laughs> no, wants, I, to, wants, out of my, wants to see my office. Because Brian does that, he does remote viewing, and he's I don't want to. I don't at... want to do that to you. <laughs> my, it, there's, I'm dressed. I'm not in my jammies. <laughs> that's, that's right. There's a method to my madness. Um, okay. A quick one on your website. At least the stars. And words. I went over to your website because oh. I. Yes. So I, one of my notes said, go to website. Um, <laughs> go to the website. I've been so bad lately. I haven't been blogging. I've just been posting on Facebook and then not cutting and pasting it to put on the site, on the blog. Oh. I interrupted you. Go on. Yeah, that's okay. Favorites and obsessions. Uh, yes. That's another thing that hasn't... See, I'm. you're reminding me that I haven't been updating... Because my last obsession was May 7th. No, June 1st. Um, that was just a, 
a list June where 1st. I was keeping track. What? June 1st. Hmm? What's your last? Everything Richard oh, and Linda Thompson, although I love my favorites. That was your last. So what are your favorites and obsessions? What are your obsessions? So it's just a random list. I want to just start keeping track but in a random way of random things that I was reading or listening to. Okay, so it's Who like knows? your book. It's, it's books that you read. Anything. Are there any books on there? Maybe. Books, art, music, thought, anything. So, who is Pinterest? Art Bell? What? Art Bell. Yes, Art Bell. Art Bell died recently, and he was he was the the king of paranormal radio. I mean, he, he started it all in my okay. opinion. I think this was in the, in, in the eighties, but any, anyone who's in paranormal radio now owes a debt to him and there will never be anyone better for his, his intelligence, his humor, his, <laughs> his humor combined with respect for all the guests, and all the wacky people who would call. But he he was the first. And luckily for us, there are so many shows of his on YouTube, probably other places too. So you can listen to all these old shows from over the years because he had a few different ones. Okay. And he he died recently and and I was sad. So when I no, I when I redid my website and made up that page, that was the first thing that was on my mind. Okay. In the chat room, Jenny said he was a trailblazer for sure. Yes. And so, so funny. No one's funnier. Paranormal investigation. Do you do you dabble in paranormal investigation? I do not. You know, I don't, and I'm. I don't, and I wouldn't. Okay. Although I consider that different than if someone wanted me to clear energy from their house, for example. Okay. But I'm not I'm not a ghost hunter. And I'm kind of anti, actually. Like I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't I don't I don't go in search of. Mm. I think I think paranormal investigators in in a in the most for the most part, everything you see on T V is a way uh it it's <sighs> It's for the ratings, and yeah. because I, I have, I, I've never done it. I, I don't know if I could. I'd probably be the one screaming in the back, <laughs> screaming in the middle of the room. You know, not that I'm afraid of spirit. It's just like you know, a, a mouse runs across my path, and mm-hmm. I'll squeal because it's it just sort of surprised me. Not because I'm afraid of mice. You know, it's like I have a conversation when a spider drops down in front of me. I have a conversation with it before I, and I gently take it and put it outside. You know, this is my office, not yours. You don't pay rent. Thank you. Let's have a nice day. I don't squish them. But paranormal investigators, uh, I have a lot of friends. I've had a couple who have been on the show, and they yeah. do awesome work. The ones that are good at it, the ones that that care. The, I mm. had a, a gentleman who who um, who he does uh, does a lot of stuff, but. Um, he took one once he worked with a family for two years to help them fix what needed to be fixed in their home, you know, to connect with the spirit that was there. And he didn't, he didn't let it go. Like some people, some right. investigations just last, you know, like a quickie couple of weeks, what is that, you know, or and a couple of visits and that's the thing. But in uh, that way, yes. I mean, that, that, I'm totally behind, but, but these people who just go in for shock value, you know? Yeah. And, and that, even the word hunt, I mean, to. Yeah. Well, they don't, they, the, the, the real ones don't like to be called ghost hunters because they're not hunters. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're paranormal, invest, paranormal investigators. I've got to say that slowly, there was a trip. Uh-huh. Um, but it, it, majority of the ones that I've come across, are are good. I've I've come a cup come across a couple of who are like leave 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 a a, a bitter taste in my mouth. But right. I'm learning. You know, for me it's something that I'm learning from it. 
that there's good people and there's bad people in every area. But, That's you know, in general, true. you know, I would be the one sitting back at, at the, <laughs> you know, I'd be the one sitting behind the camera, behind the computer, watching as everybody else do what they do. And I'd be like, okay, I'm just going to watch the camera or evaluate the, the video or the, the audio once the investigation's over. Because that I can do. I can sit there and right. focus. I'd rather do sound than video because, you know, but I can focus. But to to do actual investigations, I don't know. I think you put yourself at risk in a different way. I mean, I don't, I don't, than than when you do readings. It's it's very different, I think, to go into a house or a space and do that kind of work. So that's wonderful that you know good ones. Oh, yeah. If they weren't good, they wouldn't be on my show. <laughs> I know. I, I've only I've I don't think I've ever said I think I've said no to one person, and they asked me, and right. and and it wasn't it wasn't even a paranormal investigator. So, but that was you know. But in general, I don't you know I don't say no. I'm open to listening, and everybody needs a platform, and that's what I I believe my show is for. It's a platform to for people to get to know each other like for me if i want to go to uh have my have a have go see a medium or a psychic or a a tarot reader or 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 an astrologer i want to know the person you know because you can you can look online and and see you know like okay so and so does readings for for 75 dollars and so and so does readings for um you know 150 bucks like I've heard the, the 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 comment you get what you pay for, you know, right. which which is true. But there's no saying that the seventy five dollar one isn't better than the hundred and fifty dollar one. That's but true, I, and people but I don't have confidence also, so they may yeah. lowball you know, like, their price. Exactly, and some people like me, I have a hard time putting a, a numerical amount to to what I do, you know. And yet you uh, have to if you want to make money out exactly. Exactly. I do. To. Yes, and like I just put out a new, uh, a new, a new uh, layout for a reading, and it was it was for me. There a number came to my mind, and I was like, it's normally above my range, my price, what I usually put out. on it. Shush. It's normally above mm-hmm. what I you know ask, but then I yeah. then I found my then I found my way around it. You pay me what you pay me where you live. If you live in the U.S. Um, you pay me in U.S. funds. If you live in the U.K., you pay me in U.K. funds. If you live in Canada, you pay in Canadian funds. You know, it's it's whatever wherever you live. I, in those respects, I will I will make a little more than Canadian from the U.S. and the thing. But if you live, I have a good friend who lives in Trinidad, and if she pays me in Trinidadian dollars, I think I make four dollars and ninety five cents. But <laughs> it's, it's still it's still you know the amount is still seventy five, and that's wherever you know. Like I kind right. of sort of list spirit, you know, and I, um, I think people und- are beginning to understand this more that spiritual workers need to get paid. Like it's, I don't, I don't get it as much as I used to when I started doing this work. You know, people asking for free readings. Yeah, I think they're kind of used to it now more with the, with the new popularity of this stuff. Yeah, well, as like I said. Um, you know, people. You know, we have. It's it's hard to decide. Sorry, there was somebody at the door. Um, <laughs> it it's hard for for me to to make an amount. And and you know, somebody said, you know, thank you, Jenny. <laughs> um, and you can change it too. You can change your amount. I know, but it was the point was when I discovered this 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 layout. You know, yeah. I was like, "Ooh, I thought it was really cool," and I, and I call it the solitaire reading. And um, when I when I did the layout of it, I was like, I put it on Facebook, and and I'm typing up the the thank you for the person who sort of pushed me into doing it, into to attempting right. this. And I kept hearing the number seventy five in my head, so I was like, "Okay, I'll put it down seventy five." I said, and I was like, "I was like, okay, I'll." talking to myself, which I do quite often. I was like, okay, I'm going to put it out there. You know, it's going to be $75, but my caveat is 
wherever you live, that's the don- denomination. So, I, you know, somebody said, well, what if they want to pay you? Somebody was like, my gosh, how much is that going to cost? You know, I said, well, you could pay me in Bitcoin. I found out Bitcoin is over $60,000 Canadian. Said, yeah. Okay, okay, there I'll take go. Bitcoin, you know. You know, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's, I have, to, I listen to spirit. They gave me a number. I listen to spirit. But because it's kind of sort of out of my range, normally, because like I just sort of said, okay, 50 bucks for everything. That was where I stayed. And so when this changed, I said, yeah, Bitcoin. Hoo-ha. Um, then I, I knew for me, maybe eventually I'll change it. So don't mind you. As of today, it will. It's, it's, you're going to change know, it. You're going to change it. July I'm 15th, making my, my psychic prediction for Mama D. <laughs> you're going to change but it. Like 2018, it for a solitaire reading with Mama D, it is seventy five dollars, <laughs> and only because it it's what spirit just chose to to give me that number in my head. Right. So it's like, mm, but you have to. I don't know how the heck we got onto this line of conversation, but and it's not it's but, not easy to figure it out, but it's, it's no. worth the time that everyone should figure out what is what is the number what is the number at least for right now. Yeah. And I think it 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 makes it it gets complicated when you have different denominations that that are worth. Like when I was paying for something, um, I had put money aside for myself to to do something for myself, and I said, okay, it'll be a hundred bucks. But then it was a hundred dollars U.S. But then I had to make sure, okay. The, the change of the you know the rate of exchange and how much is, do I have enough money in account? So this is one of the reasons why I really like you know like okay is it Canadian is it U S it, it is what it is wherever you are you know so if like I said if you're if you're in China it's seventy five yen I have no idea how much a yen is worth but there we go you know mm-hmm. so it's so I have to, I. Like I said, it's it's a caveat to to spirit. They said seventy five. I went okay, but it's gonna be whatever. The hell it is, wherever the heck the they come from. Spirit wasn't gonna talk to you about the exchange rate. Yeah, no. So I just like I just snuck that one in there. I'm kind of sneaky. I get things going on the side, <laughs> but yes, uh, but you know, it, and, and the thing is, it's part of, and I know it's part of who we are that we have to, unfortunately, put a number to it. Fortunately or unfortunately, it's still, you know, it's still, it's what you do. It's who you are. It's part of, you know, like I'm looking quickly at, at your 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 website and time with you. I have a, I have a funny feeling that 20 minutes yeah. isn't just 20 minutes. You know, it's you... It's like you, a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because you can... You mean like so I much. pack a lot. It's funny about 20 minutes. Sometimes... For some people, 20 minutes is perfect. For someone who's not going to talk, you know, you have some clients who, who don't shut up and they just talk. And that's mm. fine, but then they won't get any answers. So so the Geminis who tend to talk, they shouldn't get 20-minute readings. They need a long reading because they got to get the words out. Or yeah. Virgos as well, you know, the Mercury people, they need to talk and they and perhaps water signs could be very emotional and they need to vent and they need to get the water out and get the emotions out. So they need longer time, but 20 mm-hmm. minutes can be per- with someone who's very succinct and knows what they want to ask. Like they have one question or two questions, very succinct. Then you can just go in there with your psychic scalpel and do your thing. <laughs> and that's, I, I don't when when I, when I've had people sounds- do readings for me, I don't, I don't talk, you know. I kind of wait to the end, and and yeah, hopefully I have I've to make myself be notes. quiet. Yeah, I kind yeah. of make my, you know, I take notes, and then I'll be like, okay, well, what about this? And, but if I go to somebody and they say, do you have a question? It's like, um, like a show. I, people will be like, you have one question. I can't do it because the moment I I think of the question, I know the answer. Ah, you know, like in my own head. So it's like I can't. Yeah. So I just go and I'll go to a, a show and I'll say, I'll just take, okay, um, <laughs> um, I'll just take a general, you know, because whatever you get is is you know, because it can be from like out, way out of left field, you know. And, yeah, that's but true. From, I li- I like doing both. 
but I love I love specifics. I love when someone has a very specific question or a very philosophical question, or they have that tell me what I need to know. I can handle that too. That's that's fun, but it can also be like needle in a haystack, and then I'm surprised when they say, "Oh yeah, that totally made sense." Meanwhile, it's maybe it's my own Virgo side that wants the specifics. Uh, Diane in the chat room says, I believe it's not the reading they are paying for. That three, because it comes from the spirit, it's your time. Mm. That's, that's, that's a good way of looking at it. Yes, I agree. Because spirit, you can give away, spirit can, can give each person their message one way or the other, but it's the time of the person we that's don't listen. doing the reading. I don't think anybody listens. No one listens. Nah, so we have thing. to pay. So, so I, I agree. I, would, I agree with that. We have to pay people so that spirit can speak through them to us. I don't mm-hmm. think we're so good at, you know, that that leads us to an interesting topic. I mean, I don't think we're so good at, at, at hearing what we need to hear. And people often will ask whether it's even possible to do accurate readings for ourselves, whether it's astrology or tarot or, or something else. Mm-hmm. It's true. What do you it's, it's like I think it's. It, I agree because even as a healer, it's easier yeah. to heal somebody else than heal yourself. You know, so I I will uh, I'll draw a card for myself, and I'll be like, okay, okay, this mm-hmm. this could mean this, and and it just like I said, I can't go to a show and say and and give one one question, even though that's yeah. what I ask of my clients. You know, but there's there's a method to my madness when I ask them for one question. But I can't go to a show That's and say, okay, one point. question. Yeah. It, it is. To me, it's it's like you open the door for all the other questions in your mind to be accessible. Oh, that's accessible. true. You know? That's very it's deep, Mama D. That's very because true. Some people, some people are like focused on the one question. But if you like, okay, if you call me up and say, uh, first off, I don't do, you know, like spur the moment readings. Because then your mind yeah. is focused on one thing. I'll get, I'd be like, okay, Eliza calls me up and goes, hi, Mom D, I want to read it. Okay, give me a couple of hours. And when you come to me, I want you to be able to verbalize one question, just the one question. But in the meantime, yeah. in those two hours, your mind is churning over the 101 other questions that you're thinking of, but you have to have that one. And in mm-hmm. that moment of the two hours, you're, think, you're opening your mind <laughs> to spirit. You're allowing them to go, Ooh, that one's interesting. Let's pop that one in, in the, you know. I like that. I, I like that. It's like you're giving them homework to meditate on their life, and then they come to you with this very distilled essence of who they are in their Yeah, questions. but some people, have, some people have the silliest of questions, you know. <laughs> what do but you mean? Like they, what? They, they will, the question that they verbalize is like, you know, um, will, will, you know will I get a new cat? <laughs> and I was like, Okay, let's work on that one. And that was actually answered. That was that was one of the readings I did. Somebody actually asked, actually asked me that question, and that was the last question that was answered for the reading. A whole bunch of other questions that she had in her. She goes, "Oh my God, I was thinking about asking that question." You know, it's like so. The question of the new cat came up at the end. I think it was actually a dog, but mm-hmm. the, the response came up at the end of the reading. And she's like, well, finally. I said, well, yeah, but you opened up everything else. You got 101 <laughs> other questions answered. She goes, yeah, that's true. She goes, you're sneaky. I went, uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. But that's that's the way I do it because, like I said, some people, when you ask them on the spot, they're, they're focusing on that one question. I don't work with one question. I think that there's too many, you know, it is, is that, that, say, that, that old saying, we have the power of... of uh, of what the heck is that? Of um, freedom, free will, you know. Mm-hmm. So when people get that one question and they're not open to the rest of the questions that are out there, that are in their, you know, their their mind, then they sit there and, like you said, you have you have people who go no, 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 because they're yeah. focusing on the one question. That's exactly no. it. That's their, yeah, the one question or the one answer. They're waiting yeah. for something very particular. Yeah. And then they say no, but if, no, no. But for me, when I sit there and say you're gonna, because I explain to them what they're, what, why they're choosing, why they have to verbalize the one question. I say this is why, because you open up that pathway, you open up those windows and the doors 
so that, you know, your guides, my guides, my angels, your angels, everybody connected will be able to say, hey, she's asked about the cat now, but she wants to know about her brother, you know, or something along those lines, you know. <coughs> so it's, it's a connection. But so it's, when, it's a psychic tool for you, too, when yeah. they do that. Yeah. Oh, that's the sneakiness. It's actually for you. <laughs> okay, now it's on the live radio. <laughs> Sneaky but it, Mama D. Yeah, Mama D is sneaky. But <laughs> it's just, it's, you know, so I I do that. I get it. But because it's a good it technique. Helps. Yeah, but because I can't do it. Like I said, I know what it's like when I go to a show and you tell me one question. It's like, um, will I get a new cat? No. <laughs> You know, if, no. I, if I'm going to consult a reader, I always have a few questions. I, I write it down ahead of time if I'm going to have a private reading. Oh, yeah. You can have and, all the questions And then want. other stuff comes up. Other stuff, yeah, other stuff absolutely comes up during the length mm-hmm. of the reading. But I always have at least one, two, three, four things on my mind mm-hmm. or five. <laughs> but everybody does. But some people yeah. don't. Some people or, you know, like, I want a new house. They can't find it. Well, yeah, they can't find it. it. No, yeah. So, you know, I I don't know how many shows I've been to that you sit there and you hear, um, am I going to get a new job? Well, they may, and there's a lot of avenues to get to it, but that may not be the important thing for them to know right now. When I'm going to get a new job, no, but you're going to have to move first to get the job. You know, so they could get told about the moving before they can get the job. Because if you just say, the cars just say, oh, yes, you're getting a new job, but the person is waiting for that new job to come, but they don't realize they have to move to get the new job. Right. So it's, it's everything leads up to something in the end. But if you're not open to the other, that's my thing. It's just my way of thinking of it. <laughs> I get it. Makes sense to me. Then it, what I would, Jenny would... <laughs> Uh, Jenny in the chat room says, LOL, I would ask to have you, have you been trying you to get a what? job anywhere else? <laughs> True. Yes. You know, her, what, what Jenny's joke there is actually quite serious because there are a lot of people that want a new job, mm-hmm. but they're not doing that. They're not doing their work with it. Yeah. Exactly. They're not, yeah, they're not doing anything practical to get it. You know, it's like people so. who goes, well, I meet the man of my dreams or the woman of my dreams. But yet they're staying at home in front of their computer all day. No, go out there, yeah. go groceries, go you know, go do whatever. Do step out of your normal boundaries. Yeah, you know, you the psychic to. must also be practical. Yeah, and it's, helping it's, it's, people. I call I call it Mama D sense. Yeah, because we're it's, still it's here on Earth. Exactly. It's, it's it's come. My readings come a little bit of Mama D sense. <clears throat> So, but but yeah, Jenny was Jenny was serious about that. She has asked, you know, did you apply anywhere else? When people yeah. ask, because not only are are we, uh, oh gosh, not only are we are do we deliver messages as psychics, mediums, and whatever we call ourselves, but we're also human, you know. And we realize that you know sometimes the spirit gives us information that has to be worded differently. That has to be expanded. You know, yes, yeah, spirit, am I going to get a new job? They say yes. But like Jenny says, the person says, yes, you're going to get a new job, but have you gone out looking for it? Have you decided that you're going to move? Are you willing to move? So, you know, it's, it's, there's not, it's, sometimes it's not as easy, as simple as a yes or no. You know, it doesn't always just come down to a simple yes or no. Am I going to get a new job? Yes. But there's whole lot, you know, there's a whole bunch of other things to go along with that. Are you working with it? Are you, you know, are you willing to move? Have you got off your butt and sent your CV out and gone to see the, or resumes, whichever the case may be. But, you know, so yeah, so it's one question leads to 101. So that's why I make people verbalize the one question. Because then they open the doors and leave the windows open. Anyway, but um, I've lost my book. With all my notes. But, <laughs> but we're about at the end of the show. Um, we've got yeah. a few minutes left. But thank you very much for uh, having a conversation with friends. This is what I love about my show. It goes from one end of the spectrum all the way to the other. From funny to silly to 
Jenny saying she's going to... Uh, Jenny, never shut up. I love you. Um, <laughs> I thank you. Um, I will be getting your book. I will be reading your book. And, <laughs> and, and probably by the time I get it and read it, you'll have written another book and I'll have to have you back on. But what's your that's, next book? That's going to be planet? a while. Oh. You know, I don't know. You know, uh, there's a there's a process. They they have to say yes or no. But that's that's what I want to do. I want to do another planet. So we'll see. If you got to choose your next planet, what would it be? I don't want to say secret. Okay. Okay. But that. So stay tuned. Yeah, that's to find that's out what, what I want to do. Stay tuned to find out what Elise's next book, which planet she's going to choose. <laughs> That's hopefully yeah. it's not Pluto. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. Because Pluto's with Mickey Mouse. That's a joke. Oh. I know. Bad one. I know, I know, I know. Well, I thank you very much. Um, people in the chat room, you've been awesome. Aliza, who had, again, had no choice because she said yes to be on the show. Brian, Carrie, Diane, Jenny, Larry, Eric, who was here, Ray, Reverend, uh, not Reverend Raven, Raven Rook. Uh, everybody who was here, I thank you for being here. Everybody who's going to listen to the archive next time, come to the show. The chat room is fun. We have a good time. And you can put in pictures and make faces at people, especially Brian. Thank you, Mama D. Thank you. Lisa, thank you for having me on. Uh, and, and I noticed you did not fall asleep being hypnotized by my voice. So it's just totally awesome. <laughs> just briefly, just for a couple minutes. That was during the break, and that was because of the music. <laughs> All right, darling, I love you very much. Thank you, everybody, and I will see you next week when my guest is John Sabin. Everybody head off to Paramania Radio and listen to Why Are Mediums So Messed Up. <laughs> love you, everybody. Sounds like a great show. Bye. Bye.